Howdy folks, welcome to the zombie bunker. I brought y'all something else to look at this evening. It's a Marvel's Outdoor Axe. I bought it when I was in uh, uh, Tennessee at Smoky Mountain Knife Works about, I don't know, maybe it's been over a year now or so. But uh, I've used it and ain't never showed it, but I thought I'd show it. This box it comes in. They're only $25. That's the model number, MR704. They got uh, at least seven different axes. They call them axes. I can make that out of the bottom the box right there. I'm probably too daggum close for the focus. But that just tells you the marble single bit, 704. But it's a model 704, 20 inch. Made in El Salvador. We'll probably get that box. That's yeah, pretty much how it came. It just had this uh, foam over the, the head. Apparently, I wrote El Salvador in there, so I remember where it was made at. So I was at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I was on there taking a vacation with my daughter. Let's get this. Let's see, see it. Hey. Marbles, I got upside down. Marbles, like marbles, like you play with marbles. Not marbles, marbles. But I was up there and I went to go get, I'd never, uh, I was trying to get me a Gransford's Brook axe. And I did wind up getting the Gransford's Brook outdoor axe. This is it right here. I made, anyway, I made a video just showing it. I ain't done much with it, but I did show it. These are cool. I went up there to get, uh, the, what is it, the, uh, they got a, uh, I forget what they call it. It was the most popular of Gransford's Brook small axe. They didn't have it. So I took this marble, marble axe with me in case I didn't get nothing. I thought about it. And I went back there the next day. And I didn't want to spend 200 bucks on a hatch axe. And I went back and the one I was looking at getting was gone. And I didn't know nothing about this uh, outdoor axe. It's got a much shorter handle. I can tell that. Much shorter handle. And uh, so I took this one and then uh, wound up... Uh, Really liking this one. It's got a little small blade. This ain't on this one here, but uh, razor sharp they are, but 200 bucks, right? Comes a nice little leather sheath. Grandsford's Brooks are cool, you know, they're hand forged by one guy. But anyhow, show that they stamp their, their initials on it when they make it. They're cool. Think about that though, is it? They're nice. I think, uh, my video, I, I had a video on this, but I didn't do a whole lot with it. I showed it, and I noticed uh, Wrangler Star made a video on this here outdoor axe, Gransford Brooks. And man, you know, he gets like probably half a million views. And I noticed I started getting views on mine, but mine was didn't have a lot to it. I was just kind of showing it. I never really used it yet. This in here, though, uh, let's see what I said. I think it's a 20 inch handle. I don't know if my camera too close. The whole thing is. Yeah, 20 inch, 20 inch handle. I think the blade right here is about three and a half inches on the blade lip. I guess I get over there so you can see it. Three and a half. I don't know the weight on the head of it. I couldn't find that. Six across. Guess you see that. Six. The old belly on the trail now. But uh, this is a this Marvels company is an old company. Let me go ahead and show it to you. It's uh supposedly is uh Hand forged by who I don't know. It was in El Salvador, so I'm guessing some cheap labor. You know, I got to see a little spot right there. I, I've chopped down two trees, which is about I don't know what well, about ten inches across, maybe a foot, and uh, did okay. It's not it's not come razor sharp like that Grandfather's Brook. It ain't super dull, but you could if you put an edge on it, it'd be a really nice cutter. But uh, like I said, what did I say it was? It's uh these are 10:45 high carbon steel or carbon steel 1045 carbon steel an american made hickory handle right yeah and this is the outdoor axe model but that company marvel's marvel's arms is uh it's marvel's arms is still in business but i think they kind of like maybe i don't I ain't go into too much on it they probably uh put their name on some other stuff or Ours didn't have it. Some people were so crazy about the end grain. It's got a uh, lanyard hole on the end. 
and it swells down towards the end, if you can tell that. Narrow here and it swells out. I cut, like I said, I cut down two trees with it. I don't know, yeah, I didn't want to break the Grandsford's Brook in yet. $25, but that's pretty gum good. That company, like I said, this one here is made in El, El, uh, El Salvador, didn't I? You see that? They did go to trouble to stamp their marbles name in there. Can I show the end of it? I'm going to got my camera up just a little bit taller for this long handle. But for $25, and like I said, I got, they got about, uh, there's the grain down the side. I think that right there spot is from my gloves when I was using it. And you got the pummel in or hammer style in on, on one end. And it's tight, and then after, I mean, I chopped with it for hours. You can imagine uh, what a little bitty axe trying to cut down two trees. I beat and beat and beat for a long time, and it, it didn't come loose any at all. But I could need to spend the time to take and put a little bit more edge on that, sharpen her up a bit. Like I said, this is 20 inch, and they got some, uh, several different more models. They got a double bitted one. They had a, the, I wish they had knew that when I knew this, they had a, they even got one with Damascus steel, which ain't just 20 some dollars, but I can't find it. It may be discontinued now. I can't find one for sale anymore. But, uh, thought it'd be cool to show y'all. I mean, for, uh, at least in my area, like to go in Lowe's or, or all the outdoor places around, tractor supply, nobody has an axe that'll beat this that I can find for $25 at all. But it's pretty cool. Hickory. Anyway, I jotted down a couple of things. I don't miss up. There's a, it's hard to find the details in that uh, Marbles Company. I guess they, maybe they probably got bought. It's a really old company. It used to be, uh, they got, I guess their old axes are probably quite valuable. But they, they don't call this a hatchet. They call it an axe. They call it an axe. Even, uh, I can't remember my grandson's brook. They called it a hatchet or an axe. No, that can get kind of which way or the other way you like to call, I suppose. Like I said, they got, they got I've seen a double bitted one, and uh, they got some with really short handles. And I know... I think they maybe had one, this is one of the longer models with a 20, but, but the price, $25. And uh, I just I, may bring, I didn't show, uh, I don't think I showed the end green on my Grandsford Brook when I showed it and people whined about that, but I was just kind of making a video talking at the time because I hadn't made a video in a long time or something like that. Like I said, I beat and beat with it, or chopped and chopped, and it beat. And the hammer, the head hasn't buzzed any at all. But I think you'd be, uh, you take this in, put you a little bit nicer edge on it. It ain't dull, dull. I mean, it's extremely just, you know, won't do nothing, because I did chop with it, but it ain't, it ain't uh, razor sharp like it could be. That's it. A marble's axe. It's, it's, you know, like I said, it's a, a old name, uh, but I guess they let somebody market, market, uh, I'm not sure on that to be made in El Salvador, but you know, like, was it Condor? I mean, some of them other companies can make stuff so good for cheaper. Uh, it could be even been Condor had a deal on them building this. I'm not sure. That's just talking. But that's it. Uh, show the grain really good. This one here ain't dead straight like people like to cross like people. It's kind of a twist that like a what is it 45? But so is my Grandsford's Brooks. It ain't dead. This is the Grandsford's Brooks. I mean, it ain't dead perfectly that way either. I, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> but anyhow, marble at marble axes. I, for, they got some of these. This is like the more expensive one, I think. They got some of this $20. But anyhow, and you could even stay at home and order that. Probably, I don't know what shipping, probably five bucks, you know. Probably cost you $20, $10 to go to the Lowe's and get some knockoff China one that's not as good as this. I'm not saying China stuff is bad, but I don't see nothing in there better for 25 bucks.
And uh, I guess that's about all I can say about it. Unless I, I could have videoed me chopping that tree down, but I didn't. That was hard. I had blisters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's some uh, dirty round or glocks I ordered. I have a few spares. And uh, these are odd ones right here. Uh, 24 rounders. You don't see that too much. They had some of them. And if you get out, uh, well, I guess you might can tell it here. One of these is OD green. One is tan. No, that's that's a uh, that's a different. That's like a uh, 19x. I mean, that's a 19x mag. But if you get if you get on their website and order, two of them is supposed to be OD green and one is tan. If you can take, make out the difference. <laughs> so if you ever order these. I'm totally off subject now. Obviously, anybody's done seen that. If you've done seen it, this is just yeah. But you can a little bit right here. I guess this one's OD green, and that one's OD green, and that one's tan. But man, looking at them in real life, a little clear on the camera. But, yeah, I'm, I'm liking like everybody. I'm I'm ready for this virus lockdown mess to get. With my, our shop, we're still working. We work. We do repairs on trucks and stuff, and we're still working. And uh. I can definitely see people just quitting spending their money though. It's just like I said, I'll be glad this is done. I'm sure y'all will too. But uh, a little bit of something to look at. It'd be something to go online, just Google search um, Marble Axes. Marble, M A R B L E S. Marbles. Like playing marbles. Check them out. I, I, mean, I don't know what to do. What is it? Husqvarna? Most of the other axes just, just ain't going to beat it for the money, I don't think. But, uh, you know. Uh, Y'all take care. I'll try to find something else for y'all to watch. Oh, comment, like, and subscribe if you would. That does help. And I'll see y'all.